Okay, so we have a, another lightning talk now on getting started with FPGAs for packet processing. Okay, uh, thank you for joining this lightning talk. Uh, I want to talk with you about uh, some mystery of the hardware acceleration for the data plane. And uh, let me talk, introduce myself. Uh, who am I? Uh, I am a, my name is Mirek Walukiewicz. I work as the solution architect in the programmable solution group in Intel, and my daily job is to working with the customers and optimizing uh, their workloads, especially in the networking space. Uh, it's uh, a short introduction about me. Uh, that what is a data plane? Yes. Uh, some time ago, I visited the Computer History Museum in the Mountain View in California, and I found very interesting things, which is the first network card which was designed uh, over the world. And uh, it looks like that you have the cables which connected. And currently, uh, we as Intel are making the very similar thing, maybe a bit more complex, which is called the FPGA card with the what we call the pack programmable acceleration card uh, <clears throat> N3000, which is designed especially for the data plane acceleration. Yes, I want to introduce you and making the very very short introduction, some one to uh, one uh, session. Uh, that how to use this card and how to um, make a good solution uh, using that kind of the hardware acceleration. Let's start from your problem. Uh, that uh, I work many, many years uh, as the software designer, yes. My work was to finding the optimizing the software and uh, finding, the good, uh, finding the good solution, yes. It is uh, the problems in the software could happen, uh, could have uh, many, many <coughs> uh, uh, sources, yes. We could think about the hardware acceleration. You could think, for example, okay, encryption is the first one, yes, but it's not only the encryption, yes. You could have uh, different problems, yes. Uh, you can have uh, problems with the jumps, you can have a problem with the loops, you can have problems with the PCI access, and first of all, you can have, the, for example, the problems with the cache using on the CPU, and how to do, uh, how to do make first step to optimize the software, yes, or to to use the hardware, yes. The first step is to find the hotspot. Uh, it is and understand uh, how your system works. Uh, it is um, finding the hotspot is very important thing to uh, uh, to find a problem what you want to solve uh, using the FPGAs. The FPGA has the limited size and it can solve. Not every problem could be solved that uh, this is an uh, example of your problem, yes? Yeah? So you are the engineer or you are the designer and you want to find uh, some issues uh, or to make sure that your system, which is the very, very complex, is working uh, correctly, yes? Don't try to put everything inside of the hardware, yes? Don't try to put all the problem or the complexity in the hardware. Yes, it is today. It is impossible. And uh, making, for example, the Linux kernel. Maybe some guys can uh, explain you that it will be in some future. It will be possible uh, because we have new languages for the programming of the FPGAs. Yes, uh, don't believe them. It is impossible to to put such complex. Uh, what is possible? You can get some part of the hardware and uh, some part of the problem and put this into the har uh, put this into the hardware yes and keep everything around of this problem in the software uh, what are the tricks here uh, to optimize uh, uh, solution yes uh, the first of all be careful uh, how the data processing uh, between the hardware and your software application looks like yes um, in the having the hardware working with the hardware, you have two really you have the two hardware components. One is your CPU when your program works when this mind problem is uh, executed, and another hardware component is the FPGA, which you try to find uh, or to accelerate some part of the problem. Yes, 
let's think about the, what could be the bottleneck. Yes, uh, let me provide you some example. Yes, uh, some time ago we tried to accelerate some machine learning function. Uh, you know that the machine learning of the deep learning. Uh, is uh, uh, just the, um, you have the small number of the data and this data passes through an enormous set of the tables, yes, uh, which contain, which uses the very, very big uh, si memory size uh, and you make the big number of the lookups, you have the big numbers of the uh, change going through these tables, yes? And every step in the machine learning, the number of the tables uh, uh, explodes, yes? Uh, so you can have even in some application, you can have even the hundred tables, your data, go, uh, your data going through the hundreds of the tables, yes? And uh, designing the FPGA uh, for this model, we provided uh, some simple approaches. Okay, we know uh, the most of the operation on the tables is the multiplication, yes? You know that. Okay, multiplication in the hardware must be faster than the multiplication, multiplication in the software, yes? Because the machine learning is the multiplication, yes? We implemented the very, very good multipliers, yes, in the hardware for the data, and what we saw, Software still works faster than the software plus hardware, yes. Why this happens, yes? Uh, it happens because uh, uh, the killing factor was the access of the moving the data between the software and the hardware, yes, over the PCI. Our hardware is connecting uh, to the car, uh, hardware is connecting to the card through the PCI, yes. And imagine that, for example, you have a TensorFlow and uh, you imagine that you have a packet and first of all, the software has the packet. Software has a data uh, to be passed and it must be moved to the hardware accelerator. Uh, it changes the location. The data changes the location, yes? And uh, look very carefully what, how the data is going, yes? For example, the transport of the data between the host and the accelerator could be slower than the moving of this data inside of the CPU using the cache, yes? Additional uh, kind of the problems, yes? Uh, for example, in the data plane processing, uh, I am the guy who works mostly with the telco guys, yes? Uh, telco guys as the crazy for the counters, yes, you know, the, everyone knows the mobile phone and uh, the most important part of the telco job is to charging you, yes. Counting you, counting you, counting you, yes, and uh, counting your data, yes. And it is the very, very big problem what they have, yes. Uh, and making, for example, the counting problem of the statistics problem in the software is the terrible job because of the software architecture, yes? Uh, to make sure that, for example, you want to make a counters, you must uh, create the counters uh, per, for example, your mobile phone, you'd, which could be accessed uh, from the many cores uh, from the CPU point of view, yes? It creates um, many critical sections, yes? So I hope that everyone is the software guy, so I'm, uh, maybe I'm not the one who is making the hardware, yes, so. Uh, but, uh, and this critical sections, uh, which means uh, the um, implementation of the critical sections means that you should implement tons of the atomic operation, which are the terrible for the cache access, and the, uh, you can lose all your parallelism in the CPU uh, um, using uh, that kind of uh, massive of the uh, uh, critical section operation, yes. Solving this problem is to, for example, moving some data, some counters, which are the most painful, not all counters, yes, but counters which are more painful. We call them sometimes the aggregate counters, uh, which can, must be handled by the many cores uh, to the hardware, yes, uh, which can solve the problem that the hardware is processing the data parallel, uh, uh, serially, uh, but the software do not have this problem uh, again, and the software can make most of the processing uh, in the parallel way, yes, using the cache very, very efficiently, yes. Uh, this is the kind, uh, some kind of the problems, yes. Additional problem, uh, what is, uh, 
to uh, try to put uh, it is uh, additional uh, tick uh, trick uh, what you can do uh, try to uh, do not resolve, uh, do not uh, try do not put the part of the problem into the hardware yes, to the FPGA try to solve as much as possible uh, inside of the hardware yes uh, for example, going back to the, our example with the machine learning, uh, we found a very, very good result uh, when we just put some operation of the multiple tables and we were able to put them into the FPGA and making, for example, the most of the processing or all the processing inside of the FPGA. Yes. Uh, but of course it requires that not every machine learning algorithm is possible uh, to put uh, uh, to, to be put uh, inside of the FPGA yes you must look to the special algorithm which are uh, uh, let me say matching the hardware capacity yes uh, uh, the normally uh, you the, in the university when you are learning the programming uh, that uh, uh, the people thinks uh, that for example the resources the memory uh, or the cpu cycles are infinite yes it is just you whatever you make that you make a tables which is the gigabyte you make a tables which is 10 gigabyte no problem yes in the hardware it's not the case yes in the hardware you can have maybe six mega memory of the very fast memory you have maybe few gigabytes of the uh, some smaller memory like a ddr uh, yes and it is uh, that uh, something what is uh, possible to you yes it changes your way of the thinking uh, what else uh, you can do? Yes, uh, additional tick, uh, trick is to make sure that your FPGA on your hardware is invisible to your application. Yes, uh, here this is example of the uh, s uh, segment routing V6 acceleration. I was talking yesterday about more uh, detailed way about what is the problem. Uh, I don't want to go into details uh, how it works. Uh, but uh, imagine that, for example, the situation is yes? on this left side, you have the not accelerated part. Yes, uh, everything happens inside of the software. Yes, and really uh, this blue part is the part which is uh, is the part uh, which uh, creates some router or the switch uh, inside uh, a software switch. And this blue part is visible to the user. Yes. In our acceleration solution, uh, we put uh, the hardware acceleration inside of the hardware, but we keep this invisible to the user, yes, or the, to the application, yes. You see, for example, in the model, uh, the most important part, which is the application, that VM on the top of this, uh, on the top, it do not see the FPGA and is not aware that the FPGA is used uh, at all, yes. Uh, it is the most important part uh, because you can see, for example, I can make the perfect solution with the FPGA, but a big problem what we have is the how to deploy this one, yes, how to make the user using this one, yes, and imagine, for example, that you want to go to the data center, you have the million servers, and you will say, okay, I want to change the millions of the applications, yes, running, because I have created my one smart FPGA application uh, and my application can use the FPGA. It won't work, yes? You must hide your FPGA inside somewhere in the system to make sure that it is invisible and everything a part of the FPGA is not changed, yes? Okay, uh, let me some short and uh, what we can achieve using the FPGA, yes? Uh, that uh, we uh, are using FPGA for the data plane to get the better performance. What means the better performance? Yes, uh, in the software solution for the data plane using the cores for, for the packet processing. Yes, and we have the cores and for example the software solution in some cases is can use the 14 cores. Yes, it is for example the half of the cores using by the server. Yes, with our accelerator we can do this using the four cores. Yes. It is the three times or the four times less cores and having the more cores for you for the processing. Yes, it is just the example what you can achieve. And 
without the, any change of the application. It is just the solution made by our partner, the HCL, uh, with the, some of our customers uh, who are making the real deployments, yes, and uh, uh, they achieve that result with the customers, yes. Everyone is happy, yes. so we have the better performance and the customer can run the application without the, any change, yes. Thank you very much. We have the few seconds to the one question. <laughs> so. Any questions? Okay, thank you very much. Okay.